Are you tired of the same old skyscraper designs? Well, we've got something special for you today. Architects and developers are developing increasingly crazy concepts to make their buildings stand out from the crowd. From rotating towers to Death Star designs, we'll show you some of the strangest skyscrapers you'll ever lay your eyes on. Once you've seen one massive skyscraper, you've seen them all, right? Well, no. While most modern skyscrapers look tall, boxy, and dull, some skyscrapers break the mold. Golden Circle Have you ever pictured a skyscraper in your mind? What comes to your mind? Probably a tall and vertical structure made of grey concrete or blue glass panels, right? Well, hold on to your hat because the Guangzhou Circle in China is about to flip your image upside down. This magnificent building is a circular, golden-colored skyscraper that stands 453 feet tall, making it the tallest circular building in the world. Can you believe it cost a whopping $160 million to construct back in 2013? But why would anyone place a giant 160-foot hole in the middle of such an expensive circle? The answer lies in the ancient Chinese symbol known as B, a flat disc made of glass or jade that was only afforded by the elite. The design of the Guangzhou Circle is based on this symbol, and it looks pretty impressive, especially when it casts its reflection on the Pearl River, creating a giant figure of eight. This number is associated with good fortune and prosperity in Chinese culture, making it an ingenious design choice for the headquarters of the Guangdong Plastic Exchange and the Hongde Jingye Group. Ring of Life a massive circular structure that stands at 515 feet tall with a circumference of more than 1,617 feet, making it longer than the Empire State Building is tall. Sounds amazing, right? But hold on, it doesn't house a single habitable room. Originally meant to serve as a bungee jumping facility, it was deemed too high and was instead replaced with an observation deck. Today, the main feature of this steel ring, apart from its size, is the 12,000 LED lights that light up the night sky in various colors. It's pretty cool, but you might wonder why China would spend $16 million on something like this. Well, if you're keen on spending cash like this, China, you're welcome to hit up my super thanks button anytime. But hey, regardless of how they spend their money, we can't deny that China's circular structures are quite impressive and definitely something to behold. Muscle Tower Yep, you heard that right. The Sarko style was a conceptual skyscraper that was designed to look like muscle tissue. It was proposed to fill a spot on New York's harbor front, and the designers aimed to make it look both biologically inspired and fit in with the surrounding structures. To achieve this, the building would have had structural tubes on each corner, creating a series of giant voids that would make it look like the building had folded in on itself. While it's not exactly clear how things like elevators would work and the floor layout of those middle tubes could be used for, it's still an impressive feat of design. And let's face it, it's a pretty cool flex to have a skyscraper inspired by muscles. Water Tower Aqua Tower in Chicago looks like it's made of water. This 876-foot skyscraper was completed in 2009 and cost $300 million to build. The design is cleverly composed so that vertical waves appear to run down the entire length of the building. But how did they do it? By stretching the balconies on each floor by up to 12 feet and using varying sized concrete slabs across the tower to emphasize each curved undulating wave. As the sun moves across the building, so do these shadowy waves, creating a stunning optical illusion. Not only is it a residential building, but it also houses offices, a hotel, and one of Chicago's largest green roofs. Full Moon Tower in Azerbaijan Full Moon Tower in Azerbaijan, this 515-foot tall tower, was initially mistaken for the Death Star, but it's actually a disc-shaped building that resembles a thin moon. It was meant to be a part of Baku's Crescent Bay project, but due to its eye-watering price tag of $500 million, the architects abandoned the plan and focused on the Crescent Hotel instead. This 545-foot tall hotel shaped like a crescent moon was enough to satisfy Baku's need for novelty architecture. This otherworldly structure was designed by Cloud's architecture office and is planned to be built in downtown Miami. Its spherical shape is inspired by celestial bodies and it's meant to create a new typology of buildings that can withstand extreme weather events such as hurricanes. It also has the potential to be self-sufficient and even generate its own energy. Who knew one moon-shaped building could be so much fun? Ambani House, also known as Anilia 
This 27-floor skyscraper is not your typical residential property. It's valued at a jaw-dropping $2 billion and is occupied by just one family, the Ambanis. Mukesh Ambani, one of the wealthiest people on the planet, his wife and three children call this building their home, and with 600 staff members to maintain the mansion, it's no wonder it's one of the most expensive private residential properties in the world. But what does this mansion have that other homes don't? Well, where do we start? It boasts a health spa, gym, multiple swimming pools, an ice cream parlor, nine elevators, a 50-seat cinema, ballroom, and even a temple. And that's not all. It also has an underground private car park and not one but three helipads. Its odd shape, reminiscent of a game of Jenga, is just one of the unique features that sets it apart from any other building. But don't be fooled by its quirky design. It's built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. So if you're looking for a strong, stable, and super-rich skyscraper, Anilia is your go-to. China Central Television Headquarters This building is like nothing you've ever seen before. It defies gravity with its web of diagonals, allowing a quarter of the building to appear as if it's floating without any support underneath. The 767-foot-tall and 636-foot-tall towers lean against each other, connected by a cantilevered link level that features 13-foot-wide glass floors visitors can look down a 530-foot drop for an extra dose of fear factor. Thanks to its strange shape, the CCTV headquarters has been nicknamed The Pants and Big Pants. It's not surprising that this one-of-a-kind building cost a whopping $900 million. King Power Moving on to Bangkok, we have the Mahanakon or King Power skyscraper. Completed in 2016, this 1,050-foot-tall building features a winding architectural pixel design that makes it look like Donkey Kong took a swipe at it. Each pixelated section is made of glass skyboxes and balconies, providing indoor and outdoor living spaces that are perfect for Bangkok's tropical climate. From certain angles, it appears as if residents are living in floating boxes, but the building's inner structure is cleverly hidden from view. To achieve this design, more than 30% of the tower floor plates were built to work as cantilevers, with just one end of each plate supported and the rest of the beam hanging free. The core of the building is wrapped in mega-columns connected at several transfer floors to provide additional support. Gods on Earth Gods on Earth is located on the outskirts of Beijing, China. Standing tall at 136 feet and with 10 stories, this building is not only the biggest image building in the world, but it also depicts three gods from Chinese mythology. Each god represents an attribute that's necessary for a good life. Shou on the far left controls lifespans and is associated with the longevity. Fu in the middle represents fortune, and Lu embodies prosperity, rank, and influence. You might think this building is some kind of temple or religious center, but nope, it's actually a hotel. Guests can enter through Shaw's right foot and stay in rooms located anywhere from the feet all the way up to the gods' heads. And get this, you can even book a room inside the peach that Shaw is holding. Just don't confuse it with one of the butts, as emojis may have ruined that for us. Spheric Scraper Skyscrapers are no longer just about functionality. The older HQ is a circular skyscraper that stands over 360 feet tall with 23 floors. It was the very first building of its kind in the Middle East when it was completed in 2010. This distinctive design comprises two circular convex facades linked by a middle layer of indented glazing, creating a giant glass penny that's landed on its side. And while circles are considered one of the weaker shapes, the older HQ defies the odds with a curved glass skin that could cover the area of four entire football fields. To keep everything in place, the building relies on a triangular diagrid of steel the very first of its kind used in the UAE. This means that even though the building only has 23 floors, it provides roughly the same floor area as a 40-story tower. Now, I have to admit I wasn't a fan of spherical buildings at the start of this video, but these two designs have definitely brought me around. From a hotel that looks like a trio of gods to a circular skyscraper that defies the laws of physics, these buildings prove there's no limit to what can be achieved in architecture. Water Tall what do you get when you combine a skyscraper with a waterfall? The Leibian International Building in Guiyang in China is a prime example of this stunning fusion. With construction starting in 2012, this massive structure is yet to be finished, but it already boasts one of the world's tallest artificial waterfalls running down its side. Standing at nearly 400 feet, the waterfall is a dramatic sight to behold. It's powered by four pumps and a blend of recycled tap water and rainwater. 
However, turning on the waterfall for the first time caused some issues, with major water leaks reported by local residents. It also costs over $100 per hour to run, so the waterfall has only been turned on a few times. Despite its shortcomings, the Lebian International Building is a marvel of engineering and a tribute to the power of nature. The waterfall adds a unique touch of beauty and grandeur to an already impressive skyscraper. It's proof that even in the world of towering buildings, we can still find ways to connect with the natural world. Falcon Wings When you think of iconic museums, what comes to mind? The Louvre, the Guggenheim, the Reich Museum? Well, soon there'll be a new contender in the form of the Zayed National Museum in Abu Dhabi. Designed as an homage to Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Ajnayan, the founding father of the United Arab Emirates, this museum is a massive structure reaching a top height of 374 feet tall. But what makes it truly unique are its five steel structures shaped like falcon wings. In honor of Zayed's love of falconry, the museum's base is designed to imitate the landscape of the Emirates, and the vertical wings act as solar thermal towers balancing out the structure. The central pod-like lobby dug into the ground will hold the main exhibition area, with almost half a million square feet of floor space. This game-changing design is not only a breathtaking sight to see, but also a symbol of the UAE's rich cultural heritage. The Zayed National Museum is a fitting tribute to a visionary leader and a testament to the power of architecture to inspire, educate, and delight. Spinning Scraper As someone who's afraid of heights, the thought of being stuck a thousand feet off the ground could be enough to make you break out in a cold sweat. And the only thing worse? Being on a moving floor. But what if I told you there's a skyscraper out there that combines both of these fears into one insane design? Meet the Dynamic Tower, a concept skyscraper designed for Dubai that would have each floor rotating a full 360 degrees with a complete turn taking 90 minutes. But wait, it gets even crazier. Residents would be able to control the direction and speed of their floor independently. Talk about a never-ending merry-go-round. The plan was to pre-build 90% of the structure inside a factory and ship it to the construction site, attaching each unit onto a central column with elevators running up and down. The estimated cost? A whopping $1.2 billion. Despite the zany design and insane price tag, the development is currently on hold indefinitely. Next up, the Cut Tower in Qatar. As part of their vision to become the most prosperous nation in the world by 2030, Qatar is investing heavily in major infrastructure overhauls including the $45 billion development of Lusail City, which features the iconic Katara Towers Hotel. These 700-foot towers are shaped like upturned crescents, based on the design of two traditional scimitar swords in Qatar's national seal. To build such an unconventional shape, table-lifting systems had to be modified to incorporate the inclined arches, and over 100,000 square feet of construction tables had to come in custom sizes. The Doha Fairmount Hotel, located inside the towers, opened in late 2022 and aims to attract tourists and locals alike with its unusual style and quirky features. The Wind Power Tower in Bahrain This 787-foot skyscraper is the World Trade Center of Manama and features three sky bridges, each containing a 95-foot diameter wind turbine inspired by traditional Arabian wind towers. These sail-shaped towers funnel the strong sea breeze from the Persian Gulf into the turbines, which provide around 15% of the building's total power. When it opened in 2008, it was the first skyscraper in the world to incorporate wind turbines into its design. Its unique look has since inspired more designers to incorporate wind turbines into their buildings, promoting the use of green energy. Who knew eco-friendliness could look so cool? Split Decision have you ever seen a building that shares a tower split over two different bases? The Ren building, proposed for a spot on the Shanghai skyline, does just that. The first tower is designed as if emerging from the water itself and fittingly houses a water culture and sports centre. The second is dedicated to conference centres and boardrooms. Where the two meet in the middle to form an arch, a 1,000-room hotel would be located. This public building cleverly forms the traditional Chinese character for people, making it a standout landmark. While the Ren was a proposal for the World Expo China 2010, it never became a reality. Nevertheless, this design certainly has a lot of character. A holy place. Miami's core building is a 400-foot-tall conceptual skyscraper presented in 2005 as the first sustainable mixed-use condominium in the whole of Miami. 
The building's holy exoskeleton was designed to be thermally insulated, and the top layer would also house a series of wind turbines. This building has many smart features, including recycled glass flooring, bamboo-lined hallways, and recycled concrete foundations. Sadly, the concept never got the green light, which is a pity. Some tripophobes out there may disagree, but it's an innovative and sustainable design from the bottom of its foundations to its wind turbine-lined roof garden. Impossible Heights Digital artist Victor Enrich's City Portraits collection features classical skyscrapers taken to unimaginable limits. He manipulates key details, stretching out balconies until they look like a carton of fries, or transforming three relatively ordinary concrete and glass towers into different shaped portals to another dimension. These buildings look like they'd be so much fun to live in, assuming you wouldn't immediately fall to your death. So which of these skyscrapers did you think was the strongest? Have you ever seen any of them with your own eyes? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.